How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host Jesse Morgan and today we are doing a, another Thrash Collection update. Uh, to start it off I have Hazard, Misleading Evil, this is their debut album. Excellent, excellent stuff, excellent vocals, love the guitar work, uh, the drumming is fantastic and the drumming and vocals are done by the same dude, so that's kind of neat. Uh, really, really enjoyed this the last few weeks and really, really appreciate them. Like, once again, upgrading my shirt from the logo to a uh, full print and throwing in that extra patch. It's going to go great on the Thrash Fest that I, you know, have coming from Shanghai. Whenever the fuck that decides to get here, maybe maybe by the end of October, who knows. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to that, putting that on. Uh, the Misleading Evil album right now is getting a pre-order for a vinyl treatment and it comes in like three different colors. Uh, really, really neat stuff. Definitely check it out. Make sure you uh, or pre-order a copy because they'll probably sell out pretty quick. Uh, comes with a, a new patch with their, their green colored logo on it. So that's sweet. Hopefully they make those available uh, to the general public who already have the album. But um, whatever. Yeah, Hazard from Canada. Excellent thrash. Alright, the next one is one that, uh, if you know thrash, this needs no introduction, but yeah, this is one of the Teutonic Four creator with their fourth album, Extreme Aggression. This is one of those, <laughs> for whatever reason, hated remastered versions in uh, the hard digibook. I actually don't mind it. I don't actually mind the remastered you know logo there it's a neat font and uh, clearly they're proud of these represses otherwise they wouldn't be putting it on like like everywhere like even on the inside of the book here it says remastered um, but yeah these uh these remasters come with like a crazy ton of extra liner notes on the inside just explaining how they ended up getting to this album, how they recorded it, any problems or hiccups they had while making it, any lineup changes, and then each one of the songs comes with a little uh, explanation or, you know, note from uh, Mill, Mile, whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, and this one actually comes with an extra disc live in East Berlin, 1990. So that's pretty neat. Uh, this is a really really good album and the only reason I got it out of order because I'm trying to get albums from the first one and up uh, I just kind of found this for a decent price at my local now and then music store and Had to pick it up because creator is definitely one of my top uh, Thrash bands right now for sure really really enjoy this album and Can't wait to get the in-between ones that being terrible certainty and pleasure to kill. There we go. Thank God for shit like this. But uh, yeah, definitely check out uh, Extreme Aggression by Germany's creator. Excellent thrash band. You should know them. All right, next for something somewhat kind of unique and uh, kind of like an underground thrash band. This is Fueled by Fire's first album called spread the fire pretty <laughs> i'm using artwork there some thrash guy kicking some dudes asses in an alley i guess that's supposed to be an emo kid i guess they're destroying posers whatever uh but yeah it's it's pretty decent thrash uh every now and then he does the whole <laughs> like high pitch thing but other than that it's it's really really standard good uh, thrash vocals. See inside here. I don't think there's really too much behind it. Maybe a band photo? Yeah, probably a band photo. Yep, there we go. Band photo. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the logo of the band, but it's, it's alright. I'll probably eventually get a patch of that somewhere. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really good stuff. These guys are from uh, Norwalk, USA. Uh, they started in 2002. Uh, I think they got three other albums after this, so give them a shot. 
Uh, the only thing with this one is the production is kind of a little bit lo-fi and, and the kicks sound a bit not as punchy as they should. But other than that, it's just a really, really good, you know, thrash album that tries to sound like the old days. Check out Fueled by Fire. Next one, these guys. <laughs> these guys are one of those bands. This is Gamma Bomb, by the way. These guys are one of those thrash bands where the vocals, for the most part, aren't really what I'm looking for, but the fucking riffs in this are so good and so thrashy that you, you really kind of have to overlook what the vocals are doing. I'm sure if I listen to this enough that I'll just I'll be able to get over it, but yeah, it's uh, very interesting stuff, and some of the, the, the yeah. lyrics and some of the the song titles are really, really funny. Uh, they're, they're kind of like old B-movies and like comic kind of stuff. Uh, this one doesn't really show it, but it's got a song called Ninja Untouchables, Avenge Me, Tuck Your T-Shirt In, <laughs> um, She Thing, Witching Mania, um, but yeah, this this is a uh, Gamma Bomb. They're from Ireland, Dublin, uh, Dublin, Ireland, whatever. They started in 2002. This is their fifth album from 2015. Uh, they actually released recently released a new album in 2018 called Speed Between the Lines. So maybe check that out. See what their newest stuff sounds like. Um, but yeah, these guys. When it comes to the riffs, holy shit, these guys have got riffs. That's gotta be like the ugliest CD. I've seen in a while. The artwork for this is just just really, really cheesy and bad. <laughs> but I think that's kind of their shtick. I think that's what they go for is that kind of cheesy like 80s or old Chinese like kung fu movie style stuff. Because just just look at the inside of this thing. Like holy Moses. It's just the most ridiculous over the top stuff. Like you, you, you really you gotta, you really get a sense of what the lyrics and and themes of this band is when you see the imagery that they stick in here. Like every song has a ridiculous, just campy looking artwork. Too funny. Uh, I actually don't mind that one. That's kind of funny. Um, but like I said, if 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 you can get over the vocals and you can get over the weird cheesy campiness of maybe some of the lyrics and the and the imagery. The, the riffs, man, they are just so good. Definitely check out Gamma Bomb. Let me know what you think of them. Um, let me know what you think of the vocals. Maybe you don't mind them as much. Maybe they, they're not so weird to you, but I don't know. I mean, they're not nearly as bad as, as Violence's vocals from Wake or, or, or that Nightmares album, whatever. The one with the, all the teeth. Uh, but it's, it's still kind of eh. So, but yeah, let me know. I think their their riffs are really good, really, really enjoyable. They'll probably eventually get a little bit more of their stuff. All right, man, it's kind of hot in this room. Holy fuck! Um, last one here, and this was a, a huge shock. I didn't think I was gonna see this at my local Deja Vu discs at all, and especially for like eight bucks. Yeah, some thrash from Canada. This is Untimely Demise's first album, which I'm shocked to see there. Uh, whoever uh, decided to, to to get rid of this is is a moron. But man, uh, I'd love to find out who the guy is that's dumping off all his thrash albums because uh, I want to give him like a big hug and be like, "Hey, sell them to me, please," because this shit's great. But yeah, this is uh, Untimely Demise's first album, City of Steel. That artwork is pretty fucking neat. But then it's Ed Repka or Repke art, so. The guy that did Megadeth stuff and Hazard stuff and Evil Dead stuff, uh, the band. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good thrash metal. I don't know, I, when I first heard this, I thought it was kind of plain, but I don't know what I was thinking because this is more than plain. This is amazing thrash and the vocals are pretty good. Uh, it's nothing, nothing to complain about, that's for sure. I uh, expect to see more of this band on my channel, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, Untimely Demise, once again, Canadian, started in 2007, uh, and this is their first album from 2010 called City of Steel. Go check this the fuck out. Probably the second best thing in this entire stack after the Hazard album, but yeah, amazing stuff. Untimely Demise with City of Steel. 
So that's it. That's my kind of five CD stack for this collection update. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I turned you on to something new. Uh, let me know if you have any of these albums. Let me know which one of these albums is your favorite. Uh, let me know what you think of Gamma Bomb's vocals. And that's it. For Glory for the Rebellion, Slammerella out. I got some fucking poutine to eat. Get her done, mate. <laughs> Happy birthday, babe. No. <laughs>